Well, I mean, if they're really slow, it's like pew. Pew. Maybe? I don't know. That's... I'll see myself out now. Single defense again. The obelisk is super mid heavy, but fires constant seems nice. Constant streams of PPU would be fun. I don't know if I should say that too loudly. <laughs> All of the money. With the double out seven acres and it's P E E nine nine nine. I'm so confused. And I see Icarus and it makes me think of Dyson's Fear program. But I honestly am not sure exactly what you mean by that. Um, we have banditry early. We could start getting a lot of money from this. We have the particle cannon. But we also have bandage. Fire would be good. Bliss. I mean, university is a later game building. Lookout is focused primarily on shield. I think. I'm gonna take bandage. Get more money. Speaking of, we have two thirty-two gold. These are all gold right now. Okay. I feel I was hoping for bandage too already. It's a coil hunting house. Frost keeping. Um dun 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 dun. Hmm. Dying of the day, it curses a solar cannon that fires a non-stop stream of heat. Ah, it'd be a really prolonged pew. Ah, ha ha ha. I see. Okay. Now it makes sense. Well, we have been given an option here. We already have extra money coming in. We don't have extra mana coming in. Man, let's take care of mana. And then we'll decide what kind of tower we want first. Now we have a source of mana at least. Not gonna matter, we're not gonna be able to put anything down until Banneries are already here, I think. Oh, I lied. We got one shot off of that tower and it did not help us much. Uh Building, building, tower, tower, tower. Slow but sure. Max poison. Okay. Uh, poison sprayer does well for us. Um. Let's use meta. We don't have enough money for it right now, obviously. Hmm. <clears throat> we do have a uh, thing out here. A lot of enemies for a little bit of towers and can support you. They shoot fast, I guess. Incredibly. I thought I was minus having, having shaft mine. We didn't really get any. We got shredder as a tower option. It's still a lot of money compared to what we have. Go Ballista's damage to armor, because armor is going to be our biggest next hurdle. We'll put a Ballista... Well, I really want to put it next to the house, to be honest. Money, 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 money.
This gets us some damage earlier on, too. This goes along with the whole all of your towers firing at once for the mana thing. Really important reason you to remember to spread them out. Oof. Oh man. He's dead. Nice. Shredder, encampment, mine, lifesteal, heavy shafts two. Heavy shafts two is is more armor. Um, we also have another house here that we could put a tower next to. It's a really good placement because it can shoot over the hill. Nice. We're gonna move the that one. Armor for a second. So when they come in range, it starts firing them immediately. We get everything for when it gets here. I don't know if that was necessary this early on. But it'll be safe than sorry. Flamethrower. We could do our flamethrower poison spray combo again. That is also armor damage. How much is a flamethrower? 300. We need to... We already have a mana bank. So for the flamethrower or poison spray combo, we actually already have a leg up. Over where we were. We're going to do that. We need the mana siphon as well, probably. Um... Best placement for the flamethrower. They, it's an AOE, not just around what it is hitting. Oh, uh, let's give it multiple chances to hit. What if I put it there? Hit all the way around the entire circle. Pretty good spot for it, I'd say. It's not up at all. It doesn't get any extra range. But it's um. Got a lot of track within its ring here. Yeah, we do want it focusing armor if something has armor. I never did change these, so that's okay. We'll change that back to progress. Then, uh, expand. Get this out there, get another shot off. is getting rid of armor. It is doing what it was told to do. These guys still have a lot of health left, though. Hmm. Oh, mini ballistas. We need to add another one in the middle here, I think. <laughs> I just got pounded by arrows from both sides. Come on, thank you. Ooh, mortar. We have one long path that's kind of forming a U shape almost. We could put a mortar here and hit damn near half of it. Um, kind of like the idea. Right there. It is everything from spawn back to there. Hear this armor and slow. I still want to add a ballista somewhere in the middle here, I think. We have the money, too. Maybe one more here. I 
Couple pot shots. Oh. What if we look at the position of that and then look back here? Poison through your damage to shields? Cross keep it slow. We have a decent placement for that too. I think if we put it up here, it would slow the entire time it's in the range of that. Reason Spreer is buffing a tower we already have. Mine's another option too. I don't really use those very often. Yay. Ish. We're going to leak though. It's going to just hurt us. <laughs> um, let's go to this Poison Spray Fields. Um, we should probably also put a poison spray on the map. If he levels anyway. Order there. It's a range of like a mortar there. Covers everything else. Perfect. Um we have 23. Need more mana crystals on your map? <laughs> we don't we don't we all need more mana crystals on our maps? <laughs> I know I'm not using mine yet, but I'm going to put a tower out here once I get literally two gold. I think that's something we could all agree on. I guess spot here probably for another... Definitely coming a little bit further out now, which is nice. I hate it when they're just constantly making it back to your base every round. It's nice to make a little bit of progress and get them out. Long range ballistics for the mortars. I think that's good. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so plus five range is a huge boost. Jesus. That's ridiculous. Um, that's kind of amazing, though. Max range mortars are you <laughs> back <in> with. <laughs> Well, that is what we want. We want a force to be reckoned with. I haven't. I don't think I've actually used them when I've had that. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Flamethrowers gain damage to armor, EMP. Mortars gain damage to shield. With the range being up, that's kind of nice. Energy 2, more gold. Uh, sure. This can't go wrong. Our mana makes no need for mana crystals. Mana crystals are cheap at the very least. Pseudo, personal, your personal setup is ballistas, mortars, and flames, poisoners. That's what I've got going right now. In a different order, but I mean, same four towers. Energy 2, more money. Um, and we're doing okay right now on our stuff. So we're going to do more ballistas for money as well. Our mortar is about to fire from halfway across the map, which means we now need another mortar. <laughs> Hmm. 
Next mortar is 425. Maybe you're like up here, probably. Right? Maybe even further in the back. Is it effective, I guess? I kind of want to go a little bit further out with that, to be honest. Most armor slows. You never drew any poison cards the whole run? That sucks. Poison's pretty good. Mortars gaining damage to armor? Oh my! Hey, look at that. Mortar max range. Bah! What? <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> My mortars can fire forever, actually. Uh, I guess putting it on the top is kind of a waste, actually, then, isn't it? I guess it expands it a little bit, but I don't know. Hmm. Another split there. Probably put one more mortar on this corner, I guess. 500, then we'll swap to adding some of these other towers in. Flamethrower back there would probably be beneficial. We do have a really far back flamethrower. This does really well at like, removing any shields and the mortars have missed anyway. Yeah, I had a hundred mortars. <laughs> Gonna get really expensive, Gims. I'll try. You gonna head off, Hilly? All right, man. It's coming on 3.30, Jesus, dude. Appreciate that. And just so everyone knows, Hilly is actually another streamer who's really cool. You should all go check Healy out. Very fun to chill with. Just kind of hang out there. Appreciate you coming by, man. All right, let's see. Do some max burn. Our murders aren't burning yet. Mine is another one. Maximum poison, maximum burn. Mana gen would be good action. Of course, dude. Let's get our managing going real quick. And then we can start using some of these flamethrower things. We have 1100 gold. Uh, it's going to hit halfway down there and it's going to hit whatever card is next as well as a couple others. Most armor and slowest. We're going to add a flamethrower there. We'll hit here and here. I'm liking that. Most armor. And then when we hit expand, we'll come back here and put another ballista next to that. We can do another ballista next to that as well, actually. One more house ballista, and I think we're caught up on house ballistas. Almost caught up on house ballistas. So I'm sitting here thinking about it. The range on the mortar is huge. What's it let it do? Get one more shot off? It might be more effective to honestly take another card versus range, depending on how big it actually changes it. It literally doubles. Oh, uh, I guess around a curve, it's actually more beneficial than on a straight line. Around the curve, it opens up a lot of tiles. The straight line is not as good. Eh, maybe. Link throws green damage to armor. Seems good. I don't like the Tesla cowers. Tesla coils. Tesla cowers. I'm trying to mix coil with tower there. Um. 
Thanks for gaining damage to armor. We just put another flamethrower down. It's probably not a bad thing. We have a thousand gold. I don't think we really need anything right now. Mana bank, maybe? I don't really use a ton of mana, I guess, yet, but we do have the poison spray combo coming up. Five seventy-five for another mortar? Don't mind if I do. This is officially just gonna be my mortar run. Which is really kind of a silly idea, but I guess why not? Hmm. Mortar just came from across the fucking map. It had to be that. I don't even know what mortar. Oh, they're firing for over here. Jesus. Okay. There, I guess. Oh. Uh, hmm. We don't have a lot of fast shot. If there are tons of weak enemies, we will fall back. That starts by going around half of your tower. That's awesome. That's pretty great, Jack. Encampment, bleed them. Mana to electrify, corrosion, poor spray damage to armor. Poison for real needs shield damage. Preferably. We have armor, kind of. Sorcery, more mana regen, actually. Saves me from actually having to put down the mana banks, which are kind of expensive. Um, since we have the mana regen now, I mentioned that we didn't have a lot of fast towers. We have just straight lines. Our map is literally only curved. Like... Four, one, two, three, four, five, six times out of all this. Um, hmm. What's the range on that? That's a big long radius, I guess. That'll work. Most shield. Get it out there. What do we do? Poison spray here. Decent range. do most shield there as well and then honestly we'll swap all of these to fast because we have the mortars for anything that's slow I don't know if that's going to be all that effective but it sounds like a good plan anything running through quick is it going to be targeted by the mortars because they target the big slow things with a lot of armor. If they're quick, they usually don't have a ton of health, but they don't spend a lot of time here. They do get a lot of dot while they're in the area if they are targeted. I think that's a good call. Um, we have a lot of money as well. Let's just add a couple of ballistas here. For the sake of having a little bit of extra fire. I don't think the corners, that'll be effective because it's further back. It gets to shoot all the way around. Um, we can't place another one until we expand again. We got all the way to Oogie with no uh, splits in the run, by the way. Literally two Oogie and not a single split in the run yet. Oogie is going to be a Problem. Hmm. Maybe Oogie won't be a problem. Maybe he'll just die. Maybe we add ballistas along the entire pathway. Okay, all the 
all their stuff is almost dead, so pretty much everything is going to be targeting UV here in a second, I guess. Mana is still holding steady. Cross eyes would be nice to slow down to cover anything else for us. That's true. We could slow him. Well, it wouldn't just slow him down, but I guess we could target him with it. Him being slow would also. That's why I like slowing the ballistas. If you spam ballistas, you can keep Ugi slow the entire run. I guess it's not going to be an issue. We kill everything really far out right now. Oogie about to be doogie. Fuck that means. This is gaining range. Mortars gaining blast radius. We're already spamming the fuck out of mortars. Like, why would we not get mortars blast radius? This tower nitric acid flamethrowers damage to armor. Or there is the frost tower there. But I kind of want more damage. We do have armor covered more or less already, though. Actually, Lookout Tower does really good on shields, which are coming up now. We also need to think about adding poison further up again. I have no idea how the Lookout Tower works. Um, I guess maybe we go out here to put one down. Curve. Hope to be up. A decent amount of space. We have a poison here. A few blisses, a couple of mortars. Target priority. Most shield. Is it just working? Like, it does it just do its thing? I guess it just does its thing, huh? Maybe we put another... Ray. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it and then we'll put another spray out here. Poison sprayer. Put there. Oh, we're cheap. The tower's not being active kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's actually a good spot with the poison spear, though. That'll give it a really big range. Shield. Maybe it's not a good spot. I don't know, it's alright. Have more to there. We really need to focus on shield right now, so maybe more poison spray even. This isn't gonna affect. We don't want it where the mana can be. Are you working? He must be working. You're getting experience, which means I, I'm assuming you're working. Oh yeah, we're definitely poisoning the fuck out of shit. It is getting some poison a mass here. I think the lookout tower is actually doing a lot. I don't know how to tell if it's a deep off or whatever though. I'm loving the money though. Banditry is the fucking way to go. Ooh, university. Or, ooh, mana per second. Um. Mm -mm. We could go buildings, just up the hell out of our uh, tower defense. 
I kind of want to go to university in case those start popping up. I think once you get through the graveyard areas, they start popping up, though. I think we have a couple other choices before we do that. Mana region, I think, is going to be a good one. We're increasing the amount of sprayers that we're using. Do that and then try to not... I wish you could, like, see the amount that you had that you could use at once. I guess that doesn't matter because of where things are typically, though. Uh, lookout range ends there, so we double that. We put a lookout there. That's close. We demolish for the same price we put it down. Let's move it a couple spots closer. That range is... Literally one space is not covered. I'm okay with that. Um, focus most shield and then most armor. I guess. I don't know how you work exactly. You seem to be doing stuff over here. So maybe you'll do stuff over here too. We have a mortar. The range in these is ridiculous. So I may just use it on low ground anyway. Keep up on the slow in the armor. Uh, we got a poison, poison, poison. Let's do another flamethrower once we click the button. That's perfect. Okay. So that armor is fine. Let's set this actually fast. don't know if I've ever seen a, a lane go this long with, like, no splits. This is interesting. I don't know. I don't know how to know what this is doing. It's getting experience for hitting shields. I mean, there's that, I guess. How do I build this uh, cover? Maybe add one there and one of these. One there is probably a good choice. That has a wide radius it can reach. Is there. A oh, there's a mark on the ground below the enemy. I wonder if that's a lookout tower mark. And dude sitting up there with some team binoculars like this is bird watching sport he's just calling out with the the uh the mortars hit you know <laughs> um the list is gained slow or the mine i think the bliss is gaining a slow is going to be a good shot i've kind of spread blisses Every so often against most of the path. Goes there. So the entire path has been littered with ballistas. Against one big target, it may not be that bad. 420 already. These little fast bastards have got a long way to fucking run. <laughs> yeah, you see the little targeting thing underneath them? I think that's a lookout tower. I don't know for sure, but... I should have looked at this before I put a second one down, I guess. Here's my last mortar right there. Do another one over beside this graves. <laughs> Got 
Just put one beside the graves, it's fine. We got a tower up in the hill here. Probably right around that middle section. Perfect. This can this be just most of everything. Get big damage on the guys with the most stuff. I have a sprayer up this way. What are we at? 18? I guess, um... What this does. Poison sprayers are getting 50% poison damage or the additional 10%, 5% slow. I think the 5% slow is going to help. Hey, we are starting to loop back on itself now. Bliss is... Well, is, our mortars are actually going to be able to target the other side. This is going to be gigantic for our damage numbers. Um, where is a good spot for a sprayer over here? Uh, I'm going to use them in tandem. One, 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 huh? That one's going to be armor. Quick. That one's going to be shield. Um, honestly, I don't know, Gims. I've done okay without upgrading. More mortar attacks before out of range. Exactly, Jack. Um, typically the only re time I use the upgrade is if I'm in a bind. If I'm in a spot like where they're almost leaking and they're getting through because I don't have a tower that targets shield or something like that. Uh, that's most of the time when I do the upgrades. Whether or not that's the best practices, I don't know. Hmm. I'm still new to this game. There's a lot to it. And um, I played... Actually, I don't even know how many hours I'm at now. I'm at... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Somehow I'm at 16 hours in this game already. What time is it? Fuck. Shit. Oops. Um. So yeah, I've put a 16 hours in apparently. But it doesn't feel like I've put much in. Oh man, mortar blast radius. <laughs> oh, or banditry 3 though. You could have all of the money. Let's have all of the money. Engage, engage, oh, engage, 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 engage. engage. <laughs> Oh, Dudley. How are you doing today, man? I have been sitting here for a long time. It is probably time to do some work out here. I got my camera working again. I don't know if anyone was here the other day when it was broken, but it's working now. Glad to hear that you're well. Doing well, dude. Welling do? I've... Speaking is not my strong suit. Let's actually start the round. I need to use mana or money, I guess. I don't need to, I guess. You Blissa here. Blissa up there. We'll just start the round. Let it run while I'm doing push ups. <laughs> there you go, Dudley. These are for you. Appreciate you sitting here long enough to redeem engage, man. It takes a lot of points for that. So thank you. You'd think after a couple of weeks of having that up and doing push-ups every now and then it would get easier. I don't think this is the case. <laughs> this is starting to hurt. <laughs> Glad that you're doing well, though. That enemy started to get really far in, I just noticed. 
wonder what the issue is. Maybe they were just quick? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Parody. Um, well, I don't have to play D&D. D&D was cancelled. We give a bunch of viewers enough points into it back to back. There is a cooldown on it. You can't just do all of it. 3.3 gold in the bank is the problem. That's true. It's actually 3.6 now. Other than having a cooldown, is the cooldown long enough? I don't know, Jack. Yeah. The push ups did get to me. You're not, you're not wrong. I don't know what the cooldown should be, I guess. It's 30 minutes, which I think is enough time, but people have re been redeeming it a lot, so I don't know. doesn't help that I also did 60 squats yesterday, too. That wasn't, um, I don't know. We do have a 50% blast radius. 38 seconds? Mmm. It shouldn't be 38 seconds. You got me checking. Alright, yeah. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> yeah, it is on cooldown. You got me to actually look at that, though, Gims. Um, we're doing a lot with mortars here. So I'm going to be increasing their blast radius. With this next, next one here. This is nuts. If we do it over here, that can actually hit both sides. Man. More armor. Okay. Um, we do a ballista. Where's the edge of that radius? Next tile, we'll do another lookout. Um, if we start doing too many of the flames, arrows, and poison sprays, too close, they're going to start running into one another and stuff, and they'll all be out of mana, which is an issue that I don't want to have. Um, so I think more ballistas may be all for here. Um, kind of toss them in heavy at this point, I guess. You have 16 hours in Dying Link 2? Ah, oh, damn. Cool down for Smurf. Yes, there is a cool down for the Smurf. <laughs> 16 hours in Dying Link 2. When did it come out? I think it was a recent release from the way that you're saying that. Um, cool. We at least spent it my money. Last night. So, you've been playing it pretty much since it arrived then, I'm assuming. Alright, the blast radius in the borders is definitely gonna be fucking legit now. Gotcha. Nice. That's a good thing, dude. As long as it's a game you enjoy, fucking keep playing, hell yeah. That tower's there. Do another one. Right there. Right. Most armor, most health, most shield. Target the big boys. I think I'm going to leave fire in the past and start just using the poison spray up on the side. Fire is more for the shield, and armor is the bigger issue. Um, by 
rather large stretch. If I put that there, we should be able to hit twice, more or less. And we'll shield, and then we'll do another one probably at the edge of this tile, actually. I'll just put it down now. We'll shield again. I don't know if that's going to be effective or not, but we'll see. This uh, one up there. I mean, so far, everything is working really well. We're at level 21, and stuff's barely getting anywhere. Haunted house could be a thing. More money. That is a more money build right there. Flamethrowers damage to armor is a thing. Ballistics damage to shield. Hmm. Siphon mana from crystals. I kind of want to take the... Well, we do already have the mana bank and we have a ton of money coming in. So that's not a big deal. Um, doo -doo -doo. Damage to armor. That's kind of what they're for already. And we're going to stop using the flamethrowers at this point. But if we have shield stuff that gets back to where they need to be taken, stripped of their armor, it would actually be good to have. Let's take the flamethrower boost to damage. And all the flat land. We need another mortar up here too, though. Mortars are definitely something that we're spending way too much money on because it's amazing. Started actually putting them closer than I was back in there. Uh, I think level 25 is the next Oogie, if I'm not mistaken. So we're kind of getting close, and we still haven't split the path. This is still one long ass string of just straight chain here. Um, which is ridiculous. I did. I'm enjoying this. I prefer or to have one like ass like this. Um, it's kind of nice to have one long path, but I don't know. It's a little worrisome, I guess. What do I even do with my blade? Like fuck. It's not a problem I've really ever had in this game. I really like banditry. Banditry is good stuff, man. Uh, poison spears, damage to armor. I did say I was going to start using them. Uh, health might be a thing. Shredder. Be good. They're kind of expensive, too. Um, let's put one a little ways back then. Maybe up there? Oh, fuck, I'm actually out of money. Oh. No, I'm not. Got it. We'll see how that goes. This should completely obliterate everything now. Um, we do have a fair bit of enemies that are coming through with health and not much else. So those might be giving melting to those. A little bit of overlapping that thing, really. Last poison spray is there, so I'm putting much in there. Shield. We'll take it off fastest. Fast is not an issue right now. We've got so much space for everything to go through. Fast is not a concern. Thing is just dying here. It's great. That would be amazing. Yeah. I honestly, my favorite would be if it like came out one more and then just came straight down this line again. 
I probably would just stop putting towers down at that point. Uh, let's see. Mana Siphon. We do have a lot of stuff down. Either Mana Siphon left, left Prophet. Left, left? You mean go back into this? Into the middle here, Gims? Like that channel? I guess that's what you mean by the corridor? Ah, yeah. The only problem is when it gets to the end, it has nowhere to go. <laughs> that could be an issue. Let's see. We did just get shredders, which I think come automatically with bleed damage. That'd be the best part. Ah, okay. Well, that's fair. We do have a lot of crystals to siphon mana from. Maybe we just start spamming the throwers for stuff. Hmm. We have 1300 gold. I need to use it on something. Oh, we get another shredder there. Get another shredder. Further back, actually. Oh, no, no, no. Four. Okay. Get another. I don't want to block that, though. That should be fine. We just have shredders along the whole path now. We'll add another mortar once we have enough money for it. Probably need to add a couple of ballistas right in this first area, too. Um. Well, we've got another straight bit. So it may be going out to avoid everything entirely. these towers in the back have got to be getting bored, right? Like, if you had a job defending one of these towers, and this was your tower all the way back here, you would have to be bored. You have nothing to do, ever. You just sit there staring out in peaceful landscape around you, I guess. Probably jerk off a lot. I don't know. Poison Spears, Damage Shields, mm, EMP, Mortars, Damage Shields. <laughs> mortars, Damage Shields. Oh, we got Zombie Oogie. We got Zombie Oogie and we finally got a split. Sad purses, they aren't attacking, so they aren't leveling. That's true too, yeah. That is a fair point. They only level once they attack. Um. We need a lookout. Probably here. I get tired. Health armor shield. That should be fine. We don't have a source of flame. Oogie is burning. Not burning. Oogie is bleeding. Oogie is way, way poisoned. Poison buff would actually be a pretty good thing. Oh, we do have a source of flame back here, though, I guess. That's fine, actually. I think he's going to end up being poisoned until he's dead. And I don't think he's going to get all that much further before he's done. I think we've done really well here. We're almost at 5,000 at level 25. I'm kind of liking this. Oh, my mangoes. I have bad news about your mangoes. You outlived them. 
Red has gained bleed. Oh, wait, university. Do we have any occult shrines yet? We're having a really good run. We're getting pretty far. I'm going to take university because I want to end up researching something. I never have yet. We just had a first split too, so this should... Okay, cool. EP, bonus damage shields. Hard volcano okay, at long range. Um, let's keep going with what we've been doing. Upgrading what we have so far. Bonus damage of shields is a good thing. Um, we gotta look out there. I guess we expand back on ourselves that way, right? Where's our last shredder? There's a shredder. That's fine there. The last mortar is not far away. We're gonna do a, a another poison spray right here. Let's do it up one. Do it there. Target shield. We're gonna add a flamethrower here as well. Just going to target armor. And then we just have like 20 for days. Just throw some blisters down. Um, enemies did not get far. Zombie EP is easy this run. You have a level 26 poison sprayer? Holy shit. That's fair. That's probably a good reason he um wasn't that bad. Flamethrowers, banners, the armor, heavy sh we have a lot of stuff here. We have so much range to cover actually. Longbow is probably good for all the blisses that we do have out here. Um We're gonna keep expanding this way. Oh my. A mortar with a plus five. That is just about the longest range building I think you can have down there. Rawr. Oh, there's one of those things, your cult shrine. We got a university for this occasion. How many could we put around there? Um, we have all of the money. 50% to times 2 damage is 27% to times 3. Jesus. That's crazy. I doubt any of my towers are very high level at all. I wish there was a list. I wish you could click and bring up a list of all of your towers. Can I not place this behind that? I don't think I can. Well, oh, we finished the level. Um, we are burning things. Let's increase the max burn here. How does this work? Anybody know how the universities work? You guys use them much? I know you put money into them. Okay, so maybe use one per... That was 5% for health studies. 5% for armor studies. We need another one. Can you rotate the map? No. That doesn't count, right? Yeah, no. Coming out doesn't help. You stick them near the minutes, minutes that appear after level 26. Hey, Keister. Welcome in. How are you doing today, man? I'm just curious 
I stuck it nearby. I put some money in and it gives it a 5% chance. I don't know how to know if this actually does anything or not, I guess. I've been up here. I've had them before and I've had them up to like 20% chances and stuff and I've never had them do anything. I scooped this game a couple hours ago and I've been doing it. Gotcha. Well, welcome in, man. I, um, I bought it, I think, two days ago, so I'm not that great myself. We're up to... 16 hours total. You're gonna get your first portal. Nice, Jack. Very cool, man. Um, I guess we go... Can we do more armor here? We did 100%, so make sure that better every time. You have a point, Gims. We're gonna go up to 10 on each of these. I don't really need to spend money on towers right now. Everything seems to be running pretty smooth. I just crossed streams. That's 300. Okay. Then we'll get this to 300 then. We'll see how this goes afterwards. Thing is last words. What could go wrong? I am getting my wish though. One of these sides is coming back down along on the borders that we have down this path, so it's kind of glorious. I'm really happy with where this is coming. See how far down they're actually getting now. There's a lot of chaos happening here. Just shot like 6k and you shut it so it's 26 now too. Jeez. I'd rather have a lot of towers than buff one really far, but I don't know what is actually better. It may be better to buff one tower and get it really high. Would I think a better balance for a game like this? would be to let you play either way, to be able to buff one set of towers and get really good with them, or to be able to spread out and do the other way, but I don't know. Mid to level 32 and then single go into any of your units. Yeah, I normally don't either, Keister, actually. Need to calculate total DPS versus spent for optimal gameplay. I mean, I'm sure people are going to do so. Not even, like, joking. I'm, I'm sure it's going to happen. 1-1. One, one. We have half shafts for armor. We have thrashing for bleed. We could get crit, I guess. I don't think we have any crit at all yet. Times 2, 0%. Our towers aren't hugely high level, though. Hmm. Give us golden 8 waves. Oh, my God. Wait, you ain't that guy? You're not the one to do the test, Keister? <laughs> I have not switched the game today, Grove. Not at all. We're still sitting here, man. Well, okay. Gims has a point. I did switch to push-ups for a little bit. That's true. That was only like a minute, maybe, or two? I don't know. Glad to see you back, though, Grove. Welcome in, man. Great change. To the, yeah, yeah. It was alright. I actually, I let the wave run while I was doing push-ups and just came back to it. Got a lot of shredders in this first wave. I think we're going to actually do the bleed here. We have a lot of elemental. We have a lot of armor reducing. We've got corrosive all over the place. Or poison, rather, for the shield. I think this is kind of our next thing here. Bleeding enemies take an extra two or three damage, so they bleed them out with levels, and now enemies take damage longer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wake an hour ago at 7 a.m. Time to do sleep runs. <laughs> Get it, Groff. I got you. Got this. 320, 320. I really want another one of these to pop up. I don't want to have to put another more money into this. Um, let's expand again, I guess. Hey, I got my wish actually. Um, I guess we put these down first. They are all working. Ooh. Let's see how this is going. 
Everything is dying all the time. Okay, let's just go put money in these towers. <laughs> um, we have 10 and a 5 and a 10 and a 5, so effectively it's 15 on the first two, I think. I mean, it's a 10 and 5, not actually 115, but I don't know how the game calculates it. So we're going to go up to a 15 on the magic study soon. Expanded learning. What is that achievement, I wonder? Everything's still dying. Um, just keep putting money in, right? I want to keep them even. It bugs me. This is the only way to do it, but whatever. And these towers are annoying. Alright. I don't know, Gims. I have no idea. The Shredder's hitting for 2,000 damage. Nice. It's ridiculous. Um, Haunted House is a thing. Fine. Maximum bleed is probably good. We do have a plus 50% bleed already. Um, so we'll increase that now, too. I don't think they're getting very far. Okay, let's just keep expanding. Undergraduate. What does that mean? We've got two achievements now. I don't know what either one of them are. Oh, wait. One HD, one SD. Oh, global health damage. Global shield damage. So I don't know what the percent thing is, but it actually does tell you when you get buffs. It has a little icon at the top here. So all of my towers are now doing a little bit more damage to each one of these elements. Which is cool. I'm okay with this. That seems to be on chance on waste heart. Yeah, that would make sense because that is when that popped up. That's also when you get, like, money for having houses and stuff like that. So, the early game things, these houses. Um, do you hear Converge playing? Is that a song in the game? It, there is a music in the game. I don't know who it is or anything like that, but it is a good song. Seems to be anyone. What time you get 5% crit chance? Oh my god. <laughs> we got a breakthrough, fellas. You hear the game music? You think maybe our game music's clashing? Ah, oh, I see. I've had that happen when I was watching a stream of something I was playing too, actually. <laughs> All towers just got a 5% crit boost, and it actually shows up at the bottom here. Oh man, research is amazing. I'm dumping all of my money into this. The music is converging. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, we're not gonna go until another one pops up actually let's hope another one pops up we got a split here we also have an expanse going this way we have to go mortar right Most we're about to get a a portal actually uh oh <laughs> I'm mortars. Five percent chance on all of my research or all of my towers to get the crit now. I'm up to eight thousand gold. Hmm. Put out one of your favorite albums of all time. Ah, okay. I don't actually know Converge. 
I'm gonna make a note in the Discord to look them up later. What kind of music is it, if you don't mind me asking, Kisa? Jane Doe? Is that the song you're thinking? I'm not gonna play it on stream, it's just something I'll look up later on. Metallic Hardcore, Thrashy, okay. Oh, I like some of that. It depends on how, or not how bad, but like how it is. All mortars gain poison damage. <laughs> really? You want to give all of my mortars poison damage? Uh, okay. I'll take mortar damage. Reason increases. Um, priority. We're just gonna set you to most everything, and have your way with whatever you want. I'm gonna put a mortar over here too. That can hit that corner still. That could be the normal. That could be the armor and the slow. We haven't needed to put towers down for a long time. If something gets through everything we have, it, we're not gonna be able to stop it. I really wanna save money for research. We're up to two on health and one on S shields. Uh, let's get ourselves a thingy, a portal. We did get a research thing here and we got a tower. Three makes me happy. Um, ten. Ten. Also, just so everyone knows, Prime does pay. All the money we've got is from the Bandrachi skill. And now the bandaging skill is going into our research. That B2 OP? No, that we keep that. That studies global. The um we get two extra damage to health and one extra damage to shields for every tower. And then that ten or five percent crit is additional on every tower as well. Um you can actually see, I know it's really tiny on my screen, so I don't know if you can actually see it that well on yours, Gims. But above the tower, it's got all the stats for each, and it does give 5%. Oh, for the next map. No, not on the next map, you don't. We're starting to get a little bit further in, though. We might actually want to look at putting more damage stuff out here. Um, maybe. It's saying that we get further in. Are we and how much is actually making it? We have tons of poison on what is left here, though. Oh, those are the rockets that they shoot. Okay. Um, a taxi gets bleeding and five percent crit chance. Hmm. I think we line our entire map with shredders so that everything is bleeding all of the time. Um, where is my last shredder? Everything is bleeding all of the time. All of the time. There we go. That'll hit the middle as well as mainly this side here. This is really the side I want it on. Ooh. 7,500. That is pretty much right up to the portal. We can leave that path there. We have mortars lining this already. Pretty spread out. Listas are going to be a good thing to do down up the whole thing, though, just like we did there. And then whatever we do, time for a plus three here occasionally. It's a bunch of the same tile over and over again, actually. If you look at it, 
It's three sections of the same tile in a row. It is one long straight off path. That isn't even a curve or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. We have a lookout. Where's our last one? Back there and here. We have one spot where everything is converging. We probably want another lookout there. I don't know. Actually, the matter bank is probably a good idea to test though. I don't think it does. Um, I have a thousand gold. I need mana anyway. Not mana siphon, mana bank. So if we put a mana bank there on the ground. I don't know what we were at before, actually. Let's demolish this. We're at 12 right now. We put a mana bank on the ground. We go up to 16. We put a mana bank up on the plus 3. We go to 20. So can confirm it does not affect the mana bank. At the very least. These are plus four mana regardless of where you put them apparently. Even with plus 40 mana for a second, can't keep up what you need for mana. That sucks. That really sucks. Mana is definitely a killer. I've noticed. Yeah, no problem, man. I, I love shit like that. If I can test something in a game, I'm going to. Oh, you know what we could do actually? We could put a mortar up here to increase its range so that it can hit everything again. Um, progress is fine on you. Um, we've got 1333, 9 now. We've added a bunch of towers already. This is 10. 10. We did one on each here, so that one's health. That one is armor. That one is magic. We're going to add another university. Do one of each. And then we're going to expand one of these. See if that it didn't turn the right way. It sucks. I think on that note, we're going to expand over here instead now. Look at all the mortar shells, though. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> we are keeping up with the mana though so that, I mean that's a good thing now um, we haven't got to max ray ridge yet so maybe that will change I think we put the mana siphons in place just so we don't accidentally at this point Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry here. Many using towers. You think many using... Oh, as they level, they use more. I think you're right on that. Um, I know when you put the flamethrower and the poison fear down, they use one per shot. And when they get up to like level 8-ish, they use 3 per shot. I've seen this before. That's the only reason I knew that. Um, I just want to make sure I don't run out of mana, so I'm going to kind of tap all the mana veins here. This is definitely my best run yet. I'm not actually as far as I've been in the past, but my capabilities are much higher now. Oh, hey. All universities gain a 3% bonus to all research. Yes, please. I will take that. Your level 26 is using 7 per shot. Damn. That is a lot, actually. Um, scholarships. Let's go. Um, on that note. With the... 4% for each. We're even on that up 9 now. We're going to expand over here this time. Fuck, just put a 3 ray again. This is not really a bad thing, but... I was hoping for more single paths. Not like I haven't gotten enough of those this game, though. That one I don't think is going to have an effect. Yeah. It's 
one down. I don't know if you guys know about that with the mana siphons, by the way. If it's on a different elevation, it won't actually activate. But if they're on the same elevation, they will. Um, seems to be okay so far. It's 65 per second now. Well, we could spend more money to get, um... More mana banks if we needed. Right now it looks like we're doing okay. We are definitely getting more of the research. Six on health, one on armor, two on the S now. Fields. Can you research in a... No. Your university has to be on the same level as the item next to it then too. Uh, cool. Uh, research breakthrough. All towers get 5% chance. Again, okay. My towers all have a 10% crit chance now. <laughs> I'm liking this research thing. Um, health, I think, is the least important out of the three. I want to do one of these for magic, one of these for armor, actually. Robo Ugi has like 50,000 burn damage on him. You need to up your burn amount, then. The burn is awesome. That'll burn for a long time. But, um, it'll help a lot if you up your burn amount uh, over time. You need the card, obviously. Without the card, you can't do it, but... Um... Up to 20 on magic. And then be out of money. We'll get to 20 on armor then to we get more money. Uh, I guess we expand this way actually, right? Graduate. We hit graduate achievement. Oh, there's Robo Oogie, by the way. Um wanted to hit 10 on armor here. So go for 20? Alright, we're 20 now. 20. Robo Udi, where are you? Most health. Are you targeting Udi now? Yeah, most health are targeting you. I need all of my ballistas to target with you. Just to keep him slowed so everything else can go ahead of him. I need more poison damage per second, because holy shit. I need more of all of my elementals, I guess. Hey, we're at the same spot then, Jack. You must be at level 35, too. Right. I'm not going to reset these. They could be fine here. Any big creeps will just get slowed this way. 36. <laughs> alright, alright. So you beat Robo Ugi then. Nicely done, Jack. Remember, Oogie is a cunt. He launched rockets at us. Yeah, Oogie was no fucking problem this time. Uh, burning enemies burn faster depending on how much slow they have. Increase maximum poison per second by 20 or plus 26, 250. It is exactly what we need right now, actually. That is huge. Um, nitric acid bonus to armor from flamethrowers. Maximum poison from 30 to 80. That'll be awesome as well. And that's all the chests we get. Aww. Mm. I want more chests. Why did it split again? That's upsetting. <laughs> 
Oh, you know why it split again? So that we could make use of all these towers. Uh, we have a couple of shredders back here. Um, mortar, armor, and slowest is cool. We're going to add some corrosive down this line to the poison sprayers ain't going to hurt anybody. Well, except for hopefully the enemy anyway. Um, shit's starting to get a little wicked here. But we just upgraded our poison a lot, so by putting the, what we made use of there, it's gonna help. I'd like to do a lot of research, too. Did we have an empty thing somewhere? I don't think we have an empty one yet. This is our last one. What are these up to now? 360? I think we're going to use all of these buildings until they get to 360. I mean, just whatever. Until we start running out of money between getting them up there, I guess. I don't know. Maximum bleed will probably help as well. we do a lot of that he stopped at 320 now they're at 360 that was health armor that was armor magic so we need health magic i guess i don't know um oh these are at 240 then all these oh yeah we ain't gonna have no money here What's up, Pelu? How are you doing today, man? Magic. Armor. Health. Yes, my son. How are you doing today, Pelu? Well, Cooker's Green, if you have poison towers and slow enemies. You have poison towers and slow enemies. Beside basically every flame tower. Oh, yeah. That would be good. My bliss is all slow. I don't think my poison does. I don't remember at this point, to be honest. They don't. Yet. Or at least it doesn't say they do. Um, we're doing magic here. We're just gonna go up to 340. Was it 360? I don't know. Oh, there's 360. We need armor studies money. In a long study sesh. Chilling now. Nice. How were the studies, man? You feel confident that you know what you're looking over and everything? 260. We need to go up and under here. When you say a study sesh, were you studying by yourself too? Or were you, um... There's someone. Like, a group session type thing. I don't know. I haven't done school stuff in a long time. <laughs> I should have there. I imagine man is fine. Got a poison spray there. Get your monkey's high. It went okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Kind of buddy of yours looking over to. Ah, gotcha. Studying? Studying. What were you studying? I think, I think we're going to win this, you know, we are really fucking killing it here. I want more research places. I think I'm going to stop putting towers down unless it's in another place already. Um, dum dum dum. Haunted house, could be more money. Protocol cannon, sharpen blades, or concussive shells. No concussive shells. We have a lot of mortars out here. Um, we should spam fucking mortars. How to interpret heart stuff. 
You are in the medical field, so when you say heart stuff, I know what you're talking about. And... Really? Orders are 1450. That's one of the greatest mortars I've ever placed. Um... Most armor. How many mortars... Can you get in a tiny place here? Most armor. Most armor. Most armor. I'm really glad that these have splash, splash damage. Basically, anything with armor is not going to make it. I'm just going to start piling mortars away from this corner here. At this point, I think. We should give them a lookout, too, I guess. Look out there. We want to look out over here as well. Lookouts seem to do a lot. And then, with that one. Perfect. Um, this is a tower defense roguelike game. Um, and we are absolutely killing it. This is like by far the furthest I've ever been, Paley. You're drunk. What were you drinking, Nightman? You don't know what to do with like 9 plus K you're getting every level? Randomly generated tower defense, yes. White Claw. Ah, hey. You know why basic things are basic, man? It's because they're good. Poison is good against um shield we already have poison on our mortars right we do let's add more or actually port file consumption poison enemies take an extra percent on shield damage or an extra shield damage from attacks people will not have shield basically or we go come with fire. We're gonna go come with fire. Uh, you're a little drunk too? Nice. Drinking some Woodford Double Oaked in an IPA called Hooey. Hmm. This is probably gonna be a, a dumb question. Possibly anyway, I don't know. Woodford Double Oaked. What exactly is that, if you don't mind me asking? Bam. Be off watching me too. Hi, Doc TCs. Take it easy, man. Setting completely shit face. Don't know if it was a good idea. It depends how much you remember when you wake up tomorrow, right? <laughs> the bourbon. Ah, okay. Bourbon is actually one thing I don't think I've ever drank before, Keister. I'm a simple man. Just give me like a beer and I'm good to go. doesn't take much for me well okay it used to take a lot it used to take like a lot of beer but it, all i need is beer and i'm good hammer magic and that one is the other one this one is health let's go up to 25 if we can 25 on armor 25 on magic. This is ridiculous. God, I love a roguelike when you get really far in and you're just dominating everything. These games are so good. You know, like whiskey for a long time. A few years back, you got a hankering. You haven't got yourself yet. Hey, nice. Um, mortars gain three damage to shields. I like this. Really focusing our mortars here in this build. We're going to target most armor. But they also do damage to shield, which is kind of great. Uh, how do I start wave? Um, and a siphon in case. 
And because we can, I kind of want to see how high I can get my mana regen. As well as everything else that we're doing here. Last record, low 30s. Just run level 41, the only passing your kill box. Hell yeah, Jack. I used to drink a lot, Keister, actually. Like, way, way, way too much. And I stopped drinking... over a year ago at this point. I gotta say, for me personally, it has helped a lot. Thank you, Paylor. I appreciate that. Um, it's hard to see sometimes, but if you zoom in, you can tell a lot more. I mean, so these little enemies here, these things on the map that are kind of walking along this like light path, they have to follow the path. They can't like jump out of it and go over or anything like that. I see you. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's exactly like Benny and TD. It's the same type of thing. You put towers on the other side and um, stuff like that. That's exactly what it is. You got kids in Hawaii, you can't get crazy these days. Ah, uh, you both have work tomorrow. Nice. But yeah. How old are your kids, Keister? Are they... We are having almost 10,000 gold. Are you to the point where you don't need to worry too much about them and you can really let loose? Four in one? Oh, no. You still have to be in control a little bit. All right. <laughs> Worth asking, I suppose. You're busy as fuck? That's fair. The ring enemies burn faster based on how much slow they have. We'll take slow cooker. It looks like there's only one rank of it. I don't know what else we're going to do. We definitely don't want mana bolts. We could take quality over quantity, actually. Um, we'll take slow cooker. Focus on the elementals at the moment. We really are just running in a random ass place over here. We? Hey, we found another portal. Nice. Busy as fuck. I am not a huge fan, personally, of being super busy. I try to keep my life a little chill. Although, I do have a full-time job, as well as trying to stream as often as possible. But, um, there is that, I guess. I also play D&D &D once a week. But, no wife, no kids, at the very least, I guess. So, I think keep pretty calm that way. You could just be a couch, you would be. <laughs> I will say, I don't like sitting there watching much TV. Like, I started watching Seinfeld again for the hell of it. Probably two months ago. And watch like one episode every now and then. Like one episode pretty much every night, I guess. Um, but other than that, I really don't watch any of the TV. If I sit there and watch TV, I fall asleep. I don't want to sleep. I want to be up and doing stuff. Play the new when you can. Been a shitty group member lately, though. I mean, life happens. How old are you? Wife and kids at one of four? Probably. I don't, I guess. But it seems like you're a little bit older. When um, you get a little bit older, life definitely starts happening in the new new groups played D&D since I was 12 and like after high school it definitely breaks apart quite a bit then like mid 20s it just completely falls to pieces 34 you weren't, weren't in any rush for goods yeah, that's cool I'm 35 so low 30s like 20s You're right on Jack uh poison spheres gain armor beast max bleed burn and poison yes that is one of the Make the Suffers. I want to try to get all three of these if we can. I think we're in line to do so. Thirty yourself as a five-year-old. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Um, let's see what else we can do out here. I think we just keep putting mortars down because it's kind of working actually. 
across the way now. Oh, we can't. They're expensive. Ha ha. And another portal. Uh -oh. That's now three? We run into three portals, actually. Hmm. I think we might be nearing the end, guys. Two meters in the end. Oh, really, yeah, earlier said that, uh, girls rock. If girls are girls, she's the sweetest thing. Nice. Uh, one of the girls I work with has three girls. I think, like, nine, six, and four or something like that. She is, um, being driven crazy. Moving the camera just wants food lately. <laughs> Nice. Eats stone top. He's a fucking nightmare. I mean, you gotta have fun. You know. Hmm. My method of just massing mortars seems to be pretty effective over here. This is kind of the perfect map for this. Ah, there you go. Okay. He probably is just always in the mood to climb on things and go wild. Our towers, our mortars, do poison damage. Or she did fire too, actually. That'd be legit. Poison Spirit. Scholarships. 2% bonus to all research. Yes, please. Scholarships, too. I will take it. Do we have any more research places? No mortars. Um, expand? Another portal. I think they're all going to lead to portals now. You got yours at level 42. Wow, okay. Are you talking about your first research place, Jack? Or your research going? I feel like it's a little bit late compared to when I got mine. I've already got a big stack of these now. Level 11. Okay. What happens if we just even watch this? Oh, the mine for tower HP and repair. Gotcha. I actually don't have that yet. I've used it in older maps. I'm going to leak a single time this time, actually. Hmm. All of the mortars. This is kind of nuts. You got a shitload of graves, but no mine yet. Okay. I do have... Um, lookouts gain one damage to shield. Mortars gain 10% crit chance. We... They can't stop me. Hey, Keister, thank you for the follow, man. 10% crit chance. They literally cannot stop me. If they wanted to. My mortars now have a 20% chance crit. Crits. And I have a few of them. Um, you're placing ballistas and leveling them to 25 plus? Nice. An interesting i wonder wait a second is level 45 maybe the end every one of these paths has ended in a portal now except for one hold on <laughs> losing it sucks when that changes over keister i know your pain man i'll have to cut your stream next time jack if you play this on stream i'll have to cut you next 
I'm interested in how the leveling up works as far as going deep into progression with it. Because it's, I don't know, not something I've done until like a certain point, I guess, until I'm losing. You're still learning. That's true, yeah. What type of Ugi will come from every port? Oh, fuck. Gonna check out Wedding Bands now? Gotcha. Okay. That's there. Uh, I wasn't thinking about one coming from every portal, Gims. I really hope one doesn't come from every portal. That would kind of suck. Um, I wonder if I'm done with research. If I'm not going to get any more research things. I'm going to be at least 360 on each of these. I have to keep it balanced. I don't know if that's actually ideal or not. 460 in these. Alright, so we may have got a little overboard there. Married wife when you were poor. I'm so poor, so she's not disappointed. <laughs> Jesus. A wedding band, you. Oh, gotcha. You're supposed to get married in then probably COVID, I'm assuming. Mortars gain burn damage. Already have poison damage on them. Oh, yes. Mortar burn damage. You got it, Gims. <laughs> we got there. It took us a while, but we finally got it for him. Yeah, awesome. Oh, so good. Um... I want to actually mass, I guess, flamethrowers down here. You can target whatever you want to. I don't really care anymore where you were at. I just want to try to use more mana. Kind of. I'm kind of prepping because I, I think this might be an important round for some reason. One more would get it to our oh, we're out of gold. The thing down napalm. Yeah, that's fair. I probably didn't need the burn damage if I was laying down napalm anyway, but this will help it stack higher, at the very least. That is a portal. So, I have nowhere else to expand to. This is the last level. Oh, oh. Big, big brain Oogie. There is only one of him, though. Uh, we're gonna need mortar... Not mortars. Ballista is like a man. Close health, close health, close health, close health, close health, health, all the way up and down the line. Being a big brain Uzi, we want to keep him slowed. We go just in front of where he's at and keep him these towers now to work. Where'd he go? He's back there still. Okay. It's really hard to get him a lot of slow. Jesus Christ. None of this other stuff is really even an issue. Big Brain Oogie is also not going to be an issue. At this point, he's just dead. Uh, we'll watch him die. He should have shoot crit for 18k. Jesus Christ. Um, wait a second. Big Brain Oogie is just a brain. He has 84,000. <laughs> oh, damn it. 90,000 poison damage. 100,000 poison damage. And he's dead. And we got a victory. We victoried. Hey. We victoried. Nice. 10 towers over level 50? Oh my god. That's ridiculous, dude. 
We had 100,000 point poison damage on him. It was nearing like 90,000 fire damage. This is crazy. Yeah, it looks like there are 45 levels, Keister. This is my first time actually winning here. Mortars, man. Holy shit. We started with one straight line. All the way around. Then came all the way this way before we got a split. And we lined the entire thing with mortars and we got extended range on them twice. It worked extremely well. What did we have in the beginning? I think I know it's ballistas around here, and we used a couple over here as well. This, I think those are only other damage. Ballistas and then the fire thing. Okay. Hmm. Uh, links are not allowed, Jack. You can whisper me something if you want me to see it, or you can put it in my Discord as well. Discord link is down below, or you can put exclamation discard exclamation point discord in chat to find the link for that thank you for asking by the way i do appreciate that um oh, you're done we got it 